I'm going to be replacing the fan out of a Pulsey Buff Einstein E640 because after a bunch of years, the fan starts to sound like this. So I let the unit cool down and now I'm going to flip it so that I'm looking at the bottom and I'm going to unscrew the four Phillips head screws right here. These screws are long and threaded all the way through so it took forever to unscrew these things. Now I'm going to flip it right side up and the top cover will slide out. And then the side labels, these things will slide out also. Flipped it over so that the bottom's facing up and the components just slide right out. Now we get to see the fan, link in the description for the fan I use as a replacement. But it's a 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter by 10 millimeter 12 volt DC 0.15 amp. And just a few seconds ago, you saw me take the back panel off and some of the buttons just make sure that they're accounted for. So we can now see how the middle board that the fan is mounted to is attached and kind of holding the rest of the components together through these slots and they just separate away from each other. And now we have the board that we need to work on so that we can take this fan off and put a new one back on. There's four screw holes, but only three screws. I don't know why. At this point, I've dismounted the fan, soldered a new one on. Splicing probably would have just been fine. So I've done this to two units, and they had different fans in them. One was 0.1 amp, and one was 0.15 amp. And here's the replacement fan that I used. Again, link in the description. Installed everything back in reverse order. Here's some pictures if you want to geek out. 